So I was in America and uh, you know some people, they have a big problem with the word guru. It's a four-letter word, you know <laughs> They don't mind the other four-letter words <laughs> This four-letter word is a guru. Why are you a guru? This is what a lady asked me. Why are you a guru? Oh. <laughs> because uh, you are in a state right now, you don't see what's around you only when your eyes are open. Even with your eyes closed, imagery is going on, isn't it? You must understand, the function of the eyelid is, if you close it, world is out. That's a purpose, yes or no? The function of the eyelid, you see the camera has a camera cap. If you put the cap, world is out for the camera, yes? That is what an eyelid is, it's like a camera lens cap. If you put the cap, if you still see, you lost it. Yes or no? <laughs> if you put the cap and you still see it, you definitely lost it. <laughs> or in other words, the fundamental faculties of your mind, which is memory and imagination, both are out of control. You don't know how to make use of your memory, you do not know how to make, of you, make use of your imagination. You suffering yesterday and tomorrow is just this, you lost control over your memory and imagination. If you had control over your memory and imagination, I would treat you as my colleague. But now, you lost control over your memory and imagination essentially means you should have been in an asylum. Because there is not enough infrastructure, Instead of being in a mental asylum, you're in Mumbai <laughs> Yes, you lost control of your memory and imagination means you have no ability to make use of the faculty of the mind in the way you could if you had control over these two things. Something is happening, your idea of success is you made a living, Tch. okay? You made a living little better than your neighbor. Your, your neighbor has a Maruti, you have a Mercedes. This is your great success. Suppose tomorrow we distribute Mercedes to everybody. <laughs> you wouldn't want to get into it, yes? So you have no appreciation of the technology of Mercedes. Your only thing, you see, because I was… <laughs> I was in conversation with Ratan Tata who is into auto industry, more than the industry, he is a passionate auto person, okay? So once we sat together, we were not talking spirituality or business, we were talking only cars and mobile, <laughs> you know, machines. So uh, when we are looking at these things, see the thing is just this, if you look at the advertisements in the newspapers for cars, I look, okay, any new model, I'm looking it up. I'm not intending to buy it, but I'm interested to know what is coming, what is going. I look at it, they say leather seats, uh, you know, wood finish in the… this thing, paint job like this. I'm looking, what's the engine, what's the transmission, what is the gearing system, what's the gear issue, I want to know. Nothing. Only leather, paint work, stereo system <laughs> God damn it, this is not what makes a car, this is a living room <laughs> A car means what's the engine, what's its torque, what's its BHP, what is the transmission, what is the gearing, how does it behave, what does it do? No, no, it's about the paint work <laughs> because the car is about how shiny it is and how it blinds your neighbor, <laughs> you know, <laughs> unfortunate <laughs> So, because you made your life this way, that the quality of your life is determined by the opinion of your neighbor, whether the neighbor is next door or somewhere else, somebody else… somebody else's opinion 
determines the nature of your life because eyes open and eyes closed, you're still seeing the same world. You have to at least come earn this much in your life. If you put the lens caps, it should be over. Yes? You should not see anything. If you see things, that means you lost it. Don't think you become spiritual. No, Sadhguru, when I close my eyes, I see Shiva, you definitely lost it <laughs> You're not just a nut, you're a religious nut <laughs> <laughs>